Hi, I'm Liz Haas with Raise This Photo Mask, and today I'm going to demonstrate a wire wheel brush. This is a tool that we use as a secondary application tool for applying photo mask to our glass. And back in the late 90s, we saw customers using an X-Acto knife to perforate a membrane in the photo mask. We came up with this tool. It's easier to use an X-Acto knife, and it has a great purpose of perforating the membrane, releasing any trapped air in a photo mask. So let me show you how this works. I have a stencil that I made a little bit ago. I'm gonna remove my cover paper and I'm gonna fold the corner over so I can get a pull tab on my clear carrier. I'm gonna kind of separate my photo mask from my clear carrier and now I'm gonna apply it to my glass. I'm just gonna use my fingers to put this in place. This is SR3000 so it is repositionable but I think I have it in place where I need it. I'm gonna take my pull tab Remove the clear carrier. Have a little bit of wrinkles. I'm just going to use my fingers to secure the mask to my glass. But now you can see my design here. I have the blue mask that that protects the sand from my glass, and I have the open area of the mask. That open area has a clear membrane. What we're going to do is we're going to pop or perforate that thin membrane, releasing any trapped air that could be between the mask and the glass going to roll over the entire mask. This will not harm the blue area of your mask. It will only perforate or pop the clear area. So now I have my area all perforated. The reason why this tool is great is because now if there's any trapped air that was between my mask and my glass, trapped air could cause blow off in your mask, especially in detailed designs. This is a great tool to use for perforating the membrane, releasing any trapped air that you could have between the mask and the glass. To avoid lift-offs, get your tool today.